Hi everybody, welcome to Little Rascal 2 here. We're ready to go for a ride in our 2016 Dodge Promaster City. Well, what would you call it? A light duty work truck here. And something that Jen and I can really sink our teeth into as a project vehicle. Please make sure you check out part one where we showed quite a bit of the exterior and talked about some of the requirements that were met by us. Just to give you a quick look at the dash panel here, we have our standard, our radio. This is not fancy dancy, but it's got the air conditioning, uh, some plugs for auxiliary USB and some input for uh, MP3 players. Uh, it's a simple three speed transmission. And you can see up here, if I can block a little of that uh, light there got 22,523 miles it was just filled up and it has a range of 300 miles on it which is fantastic so we're looking at 24 miles to the gallon we really have like a 12 or uh, 14 gallon tank something like that so it's just a very basic interior which I certainly approve of so I'm going to turn the camera give the camera to Jen and uh, we're going to go for a ride it's good to see you Yes, it's got the uh, yeah, CD player and everything in here. So, everybody, so here we go. Exiting the property nice and easy. I don't have any branches, any problem like I had with Little Rascal. This has a 2.4 liter, which is a really decent size four cylinder. Uh, you guys are going to be stunned with the pickup on this thing. So. Let's head out and take a little bit of a ride here. I've got great visibility. There's something coming. Yep. Here we go. Good size. <laughs> it's not that. Uh, it's not hurting for power, I'll tell you that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get up on the freeway a little bit and uh, go down one or two exits on the freeway and have a little bit of a, what would they call it? You had a little Sunday drive today. That's right. Growing up, my folks used to say, let's go for a Sunday drive and see the sights. So, all right, we'll see you when we're on the highway. Here, So here we go. Got plenty of pickup to be able to uh, get on the highway very easily here. We don't have our GoPro mount, so Jen's being uh, an effective GoPro mount today. She's got the hardest job in the rig right now. But uh, there's some definitely some interior noise. But as we build it out with uh, framing and uh, carpeting, and then a little built-in bed on the bottom. A lot of that noise will disappear, but I tell you, the thing, it just, it's like driving a car, which I really like, so. Plenty of, uh, plenty of get up and go. I'll slow down a little bit and then show you the, uh, show you the acceleration here. We're doing about, uh, 50 miles an hour right now. So I don't want to overshoot the traffic here. plenty of pickup it's going to have no problem at all going 65 75 miles an hour it's going to be uh, it's going to be fantastic so hope you all are enjoying the uh enjoying a little bit of a ride here we're just going to exit right here i just wanted to show you guys that it does pretty darn good on the uh, highway so what do you think jen you got plenty of pickup yeah, I, I kind of figured it would uh, have a lot of spunk to it with a 2.4 liter four cylinder. I mean, in Europe, a lot of cars have pretty much four yeah. cylinder. They used to, you know, the days of the 1.5 so. liter, 1.4 liter, 1.2 liter four cylinder, they're long gone. I mean, don't fool yourself. A 2.4 2.4 liter is plenty of guts. For a vehicle, this thing will have no problem. This thing's rated to tow. It's a 2,000 pound rated for uh, towing. So 
I'll probably get this fitted up with a back uh, carrying rack that we can carry things like a generator and uh, stuff like that on it. So it'll be uh, there'll be plenty of room. That the side doors give us the ability to not have to worry about coming in and out of the uh, back and keeping that open. So this thing gives us this ProMaster just gives us tremendous possibilities on what we want to do and it rides nicely it's very comfortable inside and it AC. is very quiet it's yeah. it's very very quiet i'm really happy you yeah, really good it came and with uh, great tires on it great rubber on there good continental uh, tires so they're not going to break the bank to replace them they're really just passenger car uh, tires at this weight so I expect this thing to perform beautifully and be very economical. I feel very comfortable driving it. I don't feel like like when I'm driving an 88 or I'm driving the 74, when I'm driving the Little Rascal or the um, Rolling Rancho or GMC or 74. You know, you're talking about rigs that are, you know, over 25 years old, in some case 30 years old, 40 years old. You're starting to get to the point where you can anticipate some major problems. So this is one year old, which is fantastic. All right, definitely. The comfort is here that you can easily uh, drive for several hours at a time and not get as fatigued as, yeah. as you would in the other rigs. Yeah. I, I remember I would get fatigued really quickly. Just an hour in the uh, Little Rascal, and I would be like totally fatigued. Yeah, it was, it was, it so. was, it was some effort. And I actually think that this has better suspension than that had. So it. this is really, it's got so many plus points to it that the other it's big just, plus point wow. too, Jen, is everything self-contained inside. We have nothing exposed to the weather right. or the elements, and we have a decent build quality. And uh, it was important to us, since we're traveling with a lot of gear, to make sure that things don't get ripped off and that things can be uh, locked up and all that. So that's a major big thing. All right, we're going to cut it, cut it off here. We're going to head back to the... Uh, we're just going to turn into the rancho. I want to thank you guys for being along. Just give you a little bit of a ride on Little Rascal 2. Thanks so much for being along.